Hello my soccer universe. Club soccer has us, has us again and I switched all the jerseys although I had today an idea for another video regarding the seeding of the for the Euro draw and you know how the groups are because we know actually quite some already but not quite you know all those things uh, but it's a lot of work that I'm not sure I will be able to or I was not able to assemble the information in a nice enough form to make the video immediate. I'm actually thinking of maybe preparing this somehow tomorrow or by tomorrow and then shoot the video. So I don't like intermixing, but you know, you have club jerseys up again. Uh, I'm wearing the Milan, a Milan jersey. I'm an optimist. Yes, Milan has a new start. And let's see what's uh, to watch this weekend well Milan's uh, performance first performance under the new coach Pioli will be one that I'll sure want to watch I want to see whether there is a change I've been seeing almost all I've seen all Milan games this season yeah okay but again I'm going through the leagues and I'm not going through all the ones I looked over and I, I looked where there are interesting things um, and yeah I, I always add Austria in because I'm from Austria I watch Austrian soccer so uh, you might not get that uh, info from somewhere else but from me so I decided that's the one work you will always get a little bit of Austria in my previous reviews and comments we're gonna start in La Liga where I think we have actually the one of the two biggest name matchups this weekend, uh, Saturday at four o'clock between Atletico Madrid and Valencia. Um, it's gonna be an iffy one because both teams have not been as great, especially of late. Maybe the international break changed a few things. Uh, the two big boys ahead of the Clasico have away games at Eibar and Mallorca. Uh, we still don't know whether the Clasico will be now played in Barcelona. Will they? Uh, postpone it, might they switch it uh, that to be played in Madrid and then in uh, spring we play in Barcelona. Um, there are, I, have, I have even heard today that there might be that they played behind closed doors which would be really crazy uh, and the craziest idea although I don't think it's doable within 20 and is that might be the game to move to America. But yeah, hey let's see. Um, I think but that's as I said, Atletico Madrid Valencia, uh, the two big boys, they all play on Saturday. Champions League is looming, so uh, that's uh, for sure why that is happening. Then on Sunday, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe the late game Sevilla Levante, but um, also now there's nothing really that jumps at me. Atletico Real Madrid also not. It's really Atletico Madrid Valencia. I think that's what it's all about. I think the Friday evening game between Granada and Osasuna is an interesting one. Uh, just for the fact that Granada is doing cessation well and also soon is also not all that bad. Um, Premier League. When I looked over those, I had a similar uh, thing. To me, it's all about Sunday, 5.30, United against Liverpool. That's the big name matchup. And I know United is not a big name at the moment. At least they don't play like a big name. But that's the one. Uh, and they even cleared the Sunday schedule for that one. Um, what else do we have? Everton, West Ham, kind of, yeah, Everton is also not all that great. Chelsea, Newcastle um, should be a big one, but uh, New Newcastle has similar troubles as uh, does Manchester United. They beat Manchester United, though. Uh, what is Leicester playing? Burnley, that seems to be almost the best one here. Wolf, Southampton could be interesting for uh, trainer geeks, but yeah. Crystal Palace, Manchester City. Hey, there was something last season, but this was in Manchester when City lost. As I said, I mean, it seems the must watch is Manchester United, Liverpool here. Uh, and it's again, what will happen? What will happen? Will Liverpool uh, beat up on Manchester United? So uh, it remains to be seen. Also in the Bundesliga, we have. Almost a similar story, but then when you look look at it closer, you actually see interesting matchups. Leipzig Wolfsburg four against two. That's a big match matchup on Saturday at three thirty, and probably yeah, 
I'm not sure if I would prefer this over Atletico Madrid against Valencia. That 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 will be a tough call. That's for sure. And then Dortmund Gladbach at six thirty. That really sounds like a game that uh, is worth watching. Also, there is a Bavarian derby between Augsburg and Bayern. And if you look at the map, Augsburg is very very close to Munich. So uh, that uh, might be also interesting so yeah um Dortmund Gladbach I think that could be a game that I'm watching but I probably will not and we will see later why Serie A I know what I'll be watching and that's Sunday night Milan Lecce I hope for an easy Milan win will never happen when I look uh now nah, nothing's easy I think the big name matchup in this round is Lazio Atalanta uh, those are two that are played for Champions League. It's already the first one uh, to be played. So, hmm. Uh, and that goes right there with the Bundesliga. And we also saw uh, with Atletico Madrid and Valencia. But I might start with that one. That sounds like a good one. Juve Bologna, I think, is intriguing. But I don't see much happening there. Uh, Napoli plays at home to Hellas Verona, Sassuolo hosts Inter in the early game. Then from the name here, a beautiful game, but it's not anything but it's Sampdoria against Roma. It's just that Ranieri has the first game against Roma. Um, that I think is an interesting part. Udine Torino sounds also better than that. Is. There is not the real must-watch matchup, uh, except maybe Lazio, Atalanta, you know. They had, the first the fans don't like each other, then um, they had the Italian Cup final last season, the old dolls to play. So, you know, there is a little, a little bit more, and both usually play some attractive soccer. So that could be an interesting one. Uh, in League 1, uh, I think when I went through it, the most interesting matchup is Friday. Nice against PSG. Everything else suffers from a similar fate as in all the other. Um, pick out what you want. I mean, I think it could be interesting to see what Lyon is doing under a new coach, but then they play Dijon. Mm. Uh, not Mets cannot keep it up. To lose Lille is, uh, again, Lille, uh, Bordeaux, Saint-Étienne sounds like a s eternal classic. But look where Bordeaux is. They are in fourth. Well, that's okay. Saint-Étienne is in 13th. So also not that interesting. Monaco, Rennes, Marseille, Strasbourg, Golf sound all like nice matchups. But if you look at the table, they have not any big implications. So also kind of... Uh, uh, Another one that I have another league that I want to look at. Uh, Portugal is not playing uh, yet the, in the Russia and uh, Belgium. That's also not not much happening. I think a somewhat interesting on Saturday evening, Utrecht PSV in the Eredivisie. That I think could be an interesting one. I don't expect it to be. I think it will also be a relatively easy win for PSV. Um, Ajax is playing against uh, Valwijk uh, away from home, so should be two easy wins in Holland. And then um, there's really not much happening except in the Austrian Bundesliga. Yeah, Saturday, five o'clock is Lask, so um, I think Lask Matta must be should be an easy win. I'm afraid this is where how I'm not gonna watch anything of Atletico Madrid Valencia the way I see it. Because I will first watch Lazio Atalanta and then I will watch Lask and then uh, flip over to Gladbach, uh, uh, Dortmund Gladbach, probably. So, and then we'll see what will happen in the evening. Uh, but I have to say, uh, Lask Mattersburg is probably the one I watched. There's Sturm Graz Salzburg, which sounds much better than it is, especially because Sturm Graz is a mess. Uh, on Sunday, there is a, a four versus three rapid against Wolfsburg. I honestly think that Wolfsburg is going to win that one rather handily but uh remains to be seen uh austria is really although the table the does the, recommend there's salzburg then there's lask and wolfsburg who uh, maybe are not playing as well because of their you know they also play in the europa league so there's a lot of squad rotation and then it's the rest of the league uh but it might be interesting what will happen there so yeah full program kind of on Saturday and then Sunday so and so so we have to see uh, I don't have yet a real plan for Sunday but um, Saturday yeah I have a plan I probably on Sunday I will Man United Liverpool that I'm gonna be interested in then Milan I will watch uh, the question is well whether I should watch Lazio Atalanta or Valencia 
uh, at Atleti, given that if I don't watch that one, I can watch the other two in full. Probably that's how I will be deciding. Um, also, I'm not too excited about those two teams. I would be if they would play better, but at the moment I'm not that excited about those. Well, so there you get my thoughts on what I'll be watching and what to watch. Some recommendations. Uh, let me know what you'll be watching. Drop a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that would be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. With that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.